All right, welcome back to this channel. Thank you for coming back and uh, we're closing up shop today. Uh, we have a lot of inventory to go through and I wanted to announce something that we're kind of excited for. It's a reinvestment day. It's a reinvestment. Uh, it's been a reinvestment month and uh, let's get into it. Some of you may know we've owned this store for over four years now and this channel is all about small business, owning, growing and building a small business. I have taken um, a big risk and put everything I've ever made on YouTube, which isn't a crazy amount by any means. Let's we'll get into that later and reinvested it into a small business. I like to practice what I preach. I wanted to build another small business. I think this one will pair perfectly well with this store. It was low risk and it's uh, on the e-commerce side of things. And it was a low startup fee in the general scheme of things. If you remember how much it took to build this place out, it's about 10% of that. But uh, we, uh, we wanted to start something new. We wanted to try a new angle, a new approach. And uh, here we are today. So this is it. This is the start of a brand new business, a brand new journey, a brand new venture, a brand new daily problems and successes that come with starting a small business. And most of all, a brand new alley and avenue to teach you guys on this channel what it truly takes to open a small business. And I'll tell you the first thing is, I'm quite, I'm worried that the investment, you know, may never pay off or I may just be spinning our wheels trying to get this thing going for long term and it may never work out. That's always a worry that you're going to have. That's always a fear you're going to have and it just comes with part of being in business. So we invested what we made on this channel and yeah, we made, we've been making videos for quite a long time. We hadn't really made any money until the last two years, three years, and I've never touched any of it. I just kind of kept it on an account on the side and with the intention to show this channel from start to, f to opening day, which would be today, um, the start of our brand new coffee company. So let's get these guys in front. I'm not going to show you the front label. If you want to see the front label, please hit the link down below. I'm going to put the link right here. It's called 13grandcoffee.com. And you know what? We're really excited to show you guys really starting from the ground up. I know I always mention we started this store from the ground up, but you didn't really get to see every last detail which i hope to show you with this coffee company we'll go through the finances uh just as we do on this channel and try to be as transparent as possible if you're interested in trying any of the coffee we sell it here in the store you can finally be a customer of ours and support this channel and this store by uh, going to 13grandcoffee.com I never really did any ads on this video, but yeah, this video is sponsored by 13 Grand Coffee. Thank you to whoever owns that beautiful business. So the point of this all is to take you on this journey with this new business, this new small venture, and really starting it from scratch to growing it to hopefully hundreds of thousands of sales through hopefully more so e-commerce as you know, this store is something I already know and do, but I think um, by you know building it online through this channel and through Instagram and Facebook, we can really show you guys what it takes. And hopefully you guys stick around and subscribe to this channel so you can see what happens and like this video and you may have a coffee bean delivered to your door. Just one though, because you know, we're just starting out, think times are tough type of thing. Can the co-owner of 13 Grand Coffee wave? Hello. She's busy, you know, Me. disinfecting and cleaning up because uh, we got a lot of coffee that's about to be uh, packed and uh, stickered in the next couple days. So the store is becoming a coffee house. Woo! We're actually at minus 4,000 right now for this investment. Let's keep a ticker going uh, video by video. Um, until we hit the green. How long do you think it'll take? Comment down below. How long do you think it will take before we hit black or green? Right now we're 4,000 in red. 
I say a month. Um, you're gonna sell four thousand. Four thousand yeah. dollars worth of coffee. In a I month. can sell anything, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna say about six months because coffee, again, after everything's said and done, very slim profit Do you margin. Know who I am? I'm a, I'm yeah, a woman. Good. We're gonna put you every day outside with a coffee cart, and you. Can, I am the queen of upselling. I can get anybody to buy anything. I understand, but it's a lot of coffee, okay? Considering the profit at the end of the day is like a couple bucks a bag. So the coffee business technically has four different avenues of income that we're trying to build. One, we wanted to build a good presence in the store for this coffee. It's gonna be our own brand, so I assume it will sell better than any other brand in the store. The second avenue would be wholesaling it to other stores all around Canada. We're really, you know, being optimistic here and you know local cafes and things like that hopefully we can get that going as well third would be online um, retail e-commerce trying to get that going trying to tweak that that's a whole nother thing that uh, i'm still learning you could tell from my website down below 13grandcoffee.com beautiful uh, thank you for going to visit that site or thank you for watching this video in general and then maybe checking out the coffee after this but that's uh, where we're at. It's gonna be a learning experience and those three avenues should be the main one. And then the fourth avenue, which I always tell people in the food business to start, is starting at local farmer's markets. Now, I personally always have to run the store, so we try to have people promoting, selling the coffee, sampling the coffee at farmer's markets, local events, local charities, you know, night markets, things like that, just to get the name out there, even if, you know, we don't, um, make much profit from each event because you have to pay employees, you have to pay a table fee, etc. I just need the name out in the city so it builds a brand, it gets our name out there and you know maybe people will come in the store and shop for other things or buy you know the coffee from us, maybe they didn't want to buy it that night. It's all part of the overall marketing plan. Originally we planned for around a two thousand dollar investment uh, but you know there's always hidden things hidden costs that you didn't plan for so i always say if you're starting a business estimate double on what you originally projected because there's always extras you know domain fees website fees initial marketing fees initial inventory just a lot of things add up just plan for double think about the shipping fees the labor fees the packaging the quality of the coffee at the end of the day you may not even make a couple bucks a bag depending on how much you sell it for depending how much you know coffee is priced at that time as you know everything is going up with inflation and especially the price of coffee so it's another volume game business it's a nickel and dime business and you know i'm here to wait it out and show you guys the ropes this is the very first video um, that I wanted to kind of explain the financial side of it all. And maybe or maybe not, you guys get inspired to actually get up and start your own business. Some of you have actually commented on this channel, which is amazing that you started your own stores or your own businesses by watching this channel, which is actually crazy to me because I didn't think, uh, you know, anyone really listened to the uh, to this channel with that amount of uh depth and uh seriousness so thank you for that it really uh, means a lot because this channel again is also a long-term game a long-term investment that i spend my time after the store hours uh doing and editing and all that so it's nice to see that hard work pays off and that's with any business not just the money value but the the achievement that it comes with when you start a business and it actually takes off and helps other people so even in a four thousand dollar investment there still is a long way to go before we see any return on that investment because coffee at the end of the shipping and the labor and the packing and the quality has to be a certain level there's not much left in profit so it's again even in a small investment it's going to be a long-term investment like any small business like i've told you guys many times in this on this channel there's no quick rich schemes there's no shortcuts small business investment it always takes time and even something small like this i'm looking at a year two years before making any money back and that's not what i'm looking at it for i'm just looking at it to grow our brand grow our business and get our name out there even more maybe this coffee will bring in more customers to the store i'm not sure 100 percent, but it's an overall plan rather than a dollar per dollar you know 
outlet that uh, I'm trying to make some quick money off of. So with that being said, I do want to end this video and say thank you. If any of you bought the coffee already, I hope you enjoy it. If any of you uh, have checked out the website, even then, give us some pointers, give us some comments. We are always looking to learn, grow, and um, keep building our business. So thank you and have a good night.